Hello, in this presentation we're going to introduce Euler angles, one of the most common and most used representations in robotics to describe a 3D orientation. The aim of this presentation is to introduce the representation of Euler angles with its 12 variants. We are also going to see the concept of gimbal lock as well uh, as to know how to transform the orientation between Euler angles and rotation matrices uh, that we saw in a previous video. Euler angles define a 3D orientation by using three angular coordinates and with this, uh, represent, uh, we, with this uh, three angular coordinates we have up to 12 different types of representations. The letters used in this representation read from left to right imply consecutive rotations on the mobile reference uh, system. We can distinguish between a set of representations that apply a first and a last rotation on the same axis known as proper Euler angles and a set of representations that apply rotations on each of the axes known as tate fryan angles, also called nautical angles. When using Euler angle representation a similar situation to a current suspension can occur. This is a mechanism as shown in the figure uh, and this mechanism can get locked when two of the three axes of the rotation are placed in parallel which causes a loss of degree of freedom and therefore there is an axis on which we cannot uh, rotate. In the case of Euler angles we can see that two of the angles describe the same rotation. In fact this can be clearly seen in the plane figure, the one on the right, where our, the outer and the inner magenta circles contribute to the same rotations when it's in the situation of the uh, gimbal lock. To be more specific, we show the pre here a representation of three consecutive rotations using Euler uh, representation, uh, representation Z, X, Z. As I said, we need to understand these rotations read from left to right the letters and apply to the mobile reference frame. So, it implies a rotation around Z axis, then a rotation around X axis, the, the mobile, so it's indeed U and then we uh, apply a final rotation around the z-axis which is the mobile frame again which is w. Okay? So this implies three consecutive or uh, rotations or the multiplication of three uh, consecutive rotation matrices as shown in the, in the slide and um, they, because they are done in the mobile reference frame they need to be post multiplied as we saw previously in the rotation matrices video. So this is the analytic expression in this case for this uh, Euler angle representation but in this, since we said that we have different variants we can also have uh, or we can see here in this uh, other example a different uh, representation in this case is Z, Y, Z so it implies a rotation around Z then around V remember it's uh, the mobile frame and then a rotation around W which is uh, again the mobile frame so this implies a post multiplication of a rotation matrix around Z, post multiplication of a uh, rotation matrix around Y and then finally another post multiplication around Z again. In this other example rotations are around the three axes that is uh, the three different axes that is around X, Y and Z. This is in fact the representation that we will uh, use in the Coppelia Sim robot simulation software that is discussed in, uh, in other video tutorials and this is the analytic expression in order to uh, convert the three co angle, angular coordinates into a rotation matrix. And finally here we, we see another example of a rotation uh, with uh, Euler uh, coordinates Z, Y, X. This, in the, this representation is indeed equivalent to the roll P2 angles uh, denoted by the letters R, P, Y. This is a representation which that is uh, frequently used in nautical applications to describe the orientation of, for instance, uh, drones or planes. To convert uh, from one representation, uh, uh, from a, sorry, from a representation in uh, Euler angles into a rotation matrix, we need to do the post multiplication of uh, sequential basic rotation matrices, as I indicated before. So, depending on the specific representation. The, uh, the rotation matrix will obtain a different symbolic uh, expression. Here we show uh, the symbolic expression for the representation XYZ. 
But on the contrary, if we intend to obtain Euler angles from a rotation matrix, then we have to take a look to the symbolic expressions of the uh, actual representation of the rotation matrix in Euler angles. So if we observe the element 1, 3 of the rotation matrix, the one uh, in red or highlighted in red, it's only affected by the beta coordinate of the Euler representation. So this means that arc sin of this number is indeed the, this uh, coordinate. We can get the other two coordinates from the first and the, the, the first row and the last column. And this is valid as long as the beta angle, the beta angle is not 90 degrees, because when beta is 90, the cosinus of beta is zero, and then we cannot obtain uh, or we can use this expression. Okay? As you can see, uh, in this case, for alpha and gamma, we obtain them from uh, the corresponding elements uh, as indicated in the, uh, the expressions by doing an r of the division of two uh, elements of the rotation matrix. So, when beta is 90 degrees, this actually corresponds uh, of, uh, to a gimbal lock situation and indeed what we lose a degree of freedom. Uh, we can easily see this by just simply uh, substituting uh, beta uh, with 90 degrees and applying some, after some uh, maths, we can obtain the, uh, the analytic expression of the resulting rotation matrix and we can see indeed that alpha and gamma contribute both of them to the same direction or to the same, or contribute to the same or, uh, rotation in this case. So, we can obtain multiple combinations of alpha and gamma to represent the same orientation. Uh, to end this presentation, I just simply would like to indicate that there's a good URL to convert 3D rotations to different representations, and this could be handy in certain, uh, certain situations. So, just write down the URL, type it on your browser, and you, you can practice with it. So, to summarize, in this video, we have introduced Euler angles and its relation with rotation matrices. Thank you very much.